Okay, words. Okay, so this has got this machine has got a green light and a red light. And when it stops, green light means it's accepted, red light means it's refused. Uh, so accepted words uh, is exactly the geodesics, the finite range of geodesics. Now we've had something like this before, right? This means there's some very stupid thing. So it is this stupid machine, that, which as you see, has no memory. It's just got just a finite state machine, which can recognize just by scanning along a tape whether the word being described is geodesic or not. Okay? Now this is very like what I was talking about, about local geodesic local quasi geodesics except it's stronger. It's saying actually not only can you just stare at local little bits of a of a path and see whether it's going to be geodesic, quasi geodesic, you can actually tell it to be geodesic. Okay, so so, so if you like, here, here's some word, right? Some word is labeled a path in the cadograph of the groups. You ask me, is that a geodesic word? So is that the shortest possible path from X to Y? And I have my little finite machine, here's my little finite machine, which I can carry around in my briefcase. And I go along and I read the word, okay? And, and if you interrupt me, that's fine. No, I don't need any memory. And just by scanning locally on the word, this machine will be able to tell yes or no whether that's a geodesic or not, right? Just by staring locally at it, not making any global measurements. This is Canon's theory. Yeah. And this is the beginning of automatic groups. Uh, to say a bit more about what this machine is. Uh, but first, I want to write down the consequence of it, which is really, I think, quite remarkable. Uh, if, when you have a regular language, uh, it's a general fact that you can look at the number of words at length n, and that grows in a very predictable way. It's something called the transition matrix, which I'll describe. Um, and a corollary of this is if I let uh, S M equal the number of elements in the uh, number of elements gamma is the distance from gamma to density is at the N in gamma, with a fixed generating set. Right? And I consider the the, uh, the growth function of the group. Growth function generating set. I just take this generating series from n to zero uh, infinity of I take write down that power series. Okay? So it's just, it's just a, a standard way of encoding the, how quickly the group is, group is growing into a into a into a, into a zeta function into something a generating function for the growth. Okay? It's just a neat way of recording separately at each you know, at the end place I record how many things I have in the sphere of but that is a rational function. In other words, this is equal to some integer polynomial in T divided by some other integer polynomial. So, so hyperbolic groups, which are given by this sort of very transcendental sort of description, in fact have this incredible hidden um, uh, algorithmic sort of rational property. They have this very sort of discrete recursive property that comes out of negative curvature. You have, you have these, these rational growth functions. automatic groups. Um, um, it takes take, take, take me about four minutes to explain what this machine is. I think I shouldn't do that now, should I? Should I? Should I? Hmm? Okay. Nope, where do I do? Okay. Right, deep breath. What I'm going to try and do is describe a machine that tells you that it's going to recognize geodesics. Hmm? Didn't? Okay. <laughs>